Hello, this is Narain Domestic Motor Controller model DMC CT. So this is a, a pretty simple unit which can be used for all uh, the home uh, applications. So this particular unit can uh, easily replace the traditional water level controllers because it does all the features of uh, the water level controller and in addition to it, it also has the motor safety features. So uh, let's uh, look into the features of this particular unit. Uh, this particular unit, Narain Domestic Motor Controller, has a built-in cyclic timer. So uh, let's see what exactly a cyclic timer is. Cyclic timer, uh, with this feature you can set the on time and off time of a particular motor. Suppose if you want the motor to run for uh, one time a day or two times a day uh, or three times a day or every two hours. You can set the time as required. So you can set the on time that is the motor running time and also the off time which is the waiting time. Suppose if you want the motor to run for 30 minutes and wait for two hours, you can set it in that way also. So that is the pretty important or uh, the key feature of this particular product. And apart from that, this product has a dry run uh, facility which is towards the uh, motor uh, protection side. Dry run protection is there, overload protection feature is uh, available in this particular product. And then uh, you have uh, the tank overflow option. So uh, you will get uh, two bullet sensors along with this product, which has to be fitted to the overhead tank. So whenever the motor, uh, uh, whenever the overhead tank fills up, that's Im that's when the immediately the motor turns off and it gives out a reason as tank full off. Then uh, you have digital voltmeter wherein you can monitor the incoming uh, supply voltage. Then it will display the current drawn by the motor, uh, which is uh, 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 the second line, uh, which uh, reads as AMP. Then uh, apart from that, it displays the error condition. Uh, then it displays the uh, elapsed time or uh, the time after. Uh, suppose if you uh, if you can just have a look at the display any time, it will uh, just tell you how uh, long it has been since the motor last turned on or uh, when will the motor uh, turn on next. So all those uh, features are available. Uh, apart from all those things, uh, you also have the facility to manually uh, turn on or off the motor. Whenever the motor is running, if you press this uh, particular key, the motor will turn off. Similarly, when the motor is off, pressing this key will uh, turn on the motor. So these are pretty much uh, all the features which are required for uh, a domestic application. Uh, and uh, this will easily overcome uh, the existing traditional water level controllers. And uh, if you have a look at the connections, it is pretty simple, just four wires which has to be connected. Uh, this is suitable for open well uh, submersible pumps, monoblock pumps and jet pumps up to 2 HP. So we will go ahead and have a look at uh, the connections which has to be made. So DMC has uh, the six way connector. So the first two uh, connectors are uh, for the incoming phase and neutral 220 volts. The uh, connectors 3 and 4 are for the outgoing phase and neutral which has to be connected to the motor or the starter in case of open well submersible starter. The first four connectors are uh, the power carrying connectors. So that is the reason why all these four wires are uh, thicker in size or uh, you know based on the uh, current drawn by the motor. So uh, so if it is uh, like after connecting the phase and neutral to the in, uh, first two connectors, three and four can be connected uh, in case of monoblock and jet pumps. Uh, three and four can be connected to the motor cables. In case of open wheel submersible uh, motor, these three and four uh, will go to, as the input to the starter. So this is how uh, an open well submersible starter looks. This is Narain open well submersible starter model Neo. So once we open the, uh, once we have a look at the terminals, so the first two connectors are phase and neutral and the next three are motor cables. These first two connectors are drawn from three and four of the DMC CT. So three and four will go as the input to the first two connectors. These are pretty much it. After this, uh, the MCB always has to be in the on position. This uh, always has to be in the on position. So these are pretty much about the settings. So after uh, the first four con uh, connectors are made, then uh, the sensors has to be connected. DMC CT will always come with uh, two bullet sensors which look like these. So these has to be placed to the overhead tank. So let's go, let's see how to place these sensors. So let us imagine uh, this is the overhead tank. This is the height of the overhead tank from here to here. So I'll take one set of sensor. So, and I'll place this sensor. This is the bullet sensor. I'll place the bullet at the bottommost point of the tank. So there is this one wire which is coming out of the sensor. This wire has to be taken all the way from the tank and connected to 
connector number five, which is common. Okay, this is this is where uh, the bottom most uh, sensor has to be connected. Then uh, we'll take the next set of sensor. This is the second sensor. So the second sensor will be placed at the topmost point of the overhead tank. So this is the point where the motor should turn off. So when, once the water reaches this particular level, the motor should turn off. So that is where the sensor has to be placed and the wire coming out of the sensor has to be connected to connector number 6. So the wire from that sensor will go to connector number 6. So these are the only two sensor wires which has to be drawn and the connection which has to be made. Once these are done, uh, we are all set to you know uh, make the uh, time settings. So I'll, I'll go ahead and turn on the power supply. So once the power supply is turned on, this is how uh, the display looks. There are two screens basically on the display. So this is the timing screen and the other one, uh, this is the parameter screen. So these two screens uh, will keep on uh, uh, toggling every five seconds. So this uh, will give the information about on time and off time and the screen, uh, the parameter screen has the parameter display, voltage, current, dry run and overload settings. So we will go ahead and have a look at the, yeah, this is the voltage screen, L and H are the dry run and overload settings which can be read as low and high. Then on the second line it will read the current drawn by the motor, right now it is zero because the motor is in off condition, whenever the motor is running it will read the current drawn by the motor. So. Uh, just a quick uh, setting so after turning on the motor we'll have to see uh, the current drawn by the motor and based on that l and h settings has to be made l is the dry run setting h is the overload setting i'll give you an example so suppose uh, now the motor is on so this is a half hp motor which is uh, currently drawing only around two amps suppose let us say it is an uh, one hp motor which is drawing around six ampere so when the motor is drawing around 6 ampere, uh, L always has to be set to one number below uh, the uh, drawn uh, value. So if it is drawing around 6 ampere, L has to be set to 5. And similarly, H has to be set to two numbers above that. So how do we make uh, the L and H settings? So L and H settings can be made uh, with these two knobs which are there, the blue color and the green color knob. The green color knob is the H setting always, which is the overload setting. This can be rotated towards the left hand side. You can see the value of H decreasing. So if the motor, let us assume the motor is drawing around 6 amps. Let us assume the motor is drawing around 6 amps. So the H has to be set to value 8, two numbers above the drawn value. So rotating this towards the clockwise will increase or anti-clockwise will decrease the value of H. Similarly, L setting can be made by making use of this particular knob, dry run knob. So rotating this towards the right hand side will increase the L value. So if you want to make it to 5, so just rotate it till it reaches the value 5. So this is as simple as this. So this these settings has to be made only initially. So once these settings are made, you need not worry about this at all. Then we'll go ahead and have a look at uh, the timing settings. That is the on time and off time. So I'll repeat again, on time is the duration for which you want the motor to run. And off time is the duration for which you want the motor to wait. So uh, let us give you, a, let us take an example. So if the on time is set for 15 minutes and off time is set for 60 minutes or one hour, that means the motor will run for 15 minutes and it will turn off. Then it will wait for one hour, that is the set off time. Then after the off time is complete, again it will come to the on time and the motor will continue to run for 15 more minutes. So this is the cyclic timer application, which keeps on uh, you know changing. So if you want the motor to run for uh, twice a day, what you can uh, twice a day for 15 minutes, you can set the on time for 15 minutes and set the off time for 12 hours. Similarly, if you want the motor to run only once a day for 30 minutes, you can even do that by setting on time as 30 minutes and off time as uh, 24 hours. So like this, you can uh, make the required settings. So once those settings are done, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, uh, we'll go ahead and have a, a look at uh, the settings. So in order to make the settings, we'll make use of these three uh, knobs, which are the setting knobs here. So pressing the center button will take us into the setting screen. I'll be pressing and holding this knob. So we entered the setting screen. So this is the setting screen. This is how it looks. The first line is the on time setting and the second line is the off time setting. So this is how it reads. This is hours, minutes and seconds. Similarly, off time also is in hours, minutes and seconds. Right now on time is set for one minute and off time is set for one minute. So this means the motor will run for one minute, it will wait for one minute. So this is how the factory reset will be. So then now you can uh, change the value according to your need. We will take the same example wherein we want the on time to be 15 minutes. 
So now uh, it's in the on this one. In order to increase the on uh, value, you will press and hold this particular button. If you want to decrease the on value, you will press and hold this button. So right now it is in 1, I want to make it to 15. So what I'll do, I'll press and hold. You can see the second knob increasing. So after the second reaches 60, it is. So pressing and holding for a long time will uh, increase the value sooner. So now it is 13 minutes, we wanted to make it 15. So I'll just, so it went to 16. So in order to decrease, I'll press and hold this button. So yeah. So now we got it to 15. So this is 15 minutes on time which is set. So if I want to next set the off time, I'll press and press this button once, press and release. You saw that cursor coming down. So now it has uh, come down to the off, off time setting screen. So now off time is set for one minute. I want to make it to one hour. So I'll press and hold this button. You can see the off time increasing. So pressing and holding for a long time will will scroll uh, the values faster. Now it is 40, 50, 58 minutes. Similarly, you can uh, set to whatever value you want. So it's now one, one hour, two minutes, one hour, one minute. So I. I need to make it to 1 hour for our this one. Oh, sorry. So, 55 minutes. So, these are the settings which has to be done only once. So, 59 minutes, alright. I'll, I'll leave it at. Uh, okay. It's been one, 1 hour, 2 minutes right now. I'll, I'll just. Hit. In order to come out of the settings screen, I'll, I'll press the OK button again. So, now the time. On time is set for 15 minutes and off time is set for 1 hour 2 minutes. So this means the motor will run uh, for 15 minutes and then it will wait for 1 hour 2 minutes. So this is how the whole cycle repeats now. So uh, yeah, whenever uh, the motor is uh, motor is right now off and if you if we can just have a look at the screen it will show the set time. So the set 15 minutes and 1 hour 2 minutes the set time is there and right now the motor is in off mode and 3 and 4 what is this? 3 minutes 4 seconds is the time uh, in which, uh, I mean the time since the off mode. So the, this means the currently it is in off mode and 3 minutes 15 seconds is, uh, I mean uh, it, it has just been 3 minutes 18 seconds since the uh, controller came into off mode. So this is what it means. So similarly, uh, whenever if you want to uh, turn on the motor at any point of time, you can always press this button. Pressing this button will immediately turn on the motor. to press and hold for two seconds yeah the motor turned on so as soon as the motor turns on the times will be reset so you can have a look so now 15 uh, motor has started it's in on mode and it will turn off after 15 minutes so on on time would be a reset to zero so <coughs> i hope things are clear so any time in between if you want the motor to turn on you are pressing this button. So now pressing this will, will retain the times. So uh, the motor has turned on, it will turn off after 15 minutes. So suppose I want the motor to turn off immediately, I can always press this button again which will uh, take us to off mode and it will wait for the next one hour. So when the motor is running let us assume the overhead tank fills up. So this is how the motor turns off and this is how uh, this is what you can see on the display. So the motor turned off and uh, the display reads tank full off. This means uh, the motor turned off because the overhead tank was full. So whenever motor turns off because of any of these conditions, it will immediately enter the off mode and it will start uh, counting for the next off mode. So now the motor has entered the off mode and it will wait for the next one hour to attempt to turn on again. So with these, uh, you will get an additional uh, uh, you know, advantage over water level controllers because it doesn't matter even if the overhead tank is half full or uh, uh, on the 3 4th mark, it will always attempt to turn on the motor and it will make sure the tank is full at any point of time. So these are all the advantages of this particular product and uh, yeah, uh, all the facilities required for a household has been attended uh, with this product and uh, this is suitable for all types of uh, motors which are used for domestic applications. I hope things are clear. Uh, please feel free to contact us if you have further queries. Our contact number is 9972-43774 and our uh, website address is uh, www.narayanelectrics.in. I repeat, it's www.narayanelectrics.in.
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो